You look like the decor inside of this waffle hut. I accidentally met the waffle hut, yeah. Yeah. That's so much whipped cream. That's what I wanted. Yeah. That is a waffle. It's a waffle, waffle, waffle. Waffle, waffle, waffle. All right, morning, morning. Today is June 8th. Um, as you saw, we finished the trail yesterday. Drove down to South Lake Tahoe. Got the obligatory party pack of Taco Bell afterwards, which, oh my God, I ate so much. Too much, I, I became pain. I discovered that the shorts that I brought, both pairs of shorts that I brought on this trip are too small. Yeah. My legs are too buff. So the pain was a lot last night. Um, this morning, edited and finally published an episode day late sorry about that on off trail podcast um it's live today but this video is gonna be live afterwards so i don't know why i'm telling you that go check it out it's with pony um really good storyteller really fun guy so just ate at a little breakfast joint today and just talking about how old we are that we get excited about how good grocery stores are Mag magpie came here yesterday and she started geeking out about how good of a safe way it is so i had to go check it out it's a really good safe way. yeah lego Honestly, you could tell me where we were in Worcester right now, and I believe you. Yeah, the tourist part. Stop. Yeah, look. Coffee cake. What are we doing as humans? Bacon soda. Some of these aren't too bad. Grass soda? No, that's just a gimmick. Yeah. Buffalo wing. Where? That's, that's scary. So I have never had this happen. We are literally the only people in the theater right now. And never had it happen. you insisted on getting here 20 minutes early to watch the previews. Yeah, never had this happen, ever. Whenever you go to the Ski Town movie theater, I've had like, I've brought in like a full cooked dinner that I made for myself in my van and then walked into the movie theater with it. They don't care. <laughs> I've been the only person in the movie theater many, many It times. makes sense. It's 345 in South Lake Tahoe. We wanted to see a movie, so we're going to see a movie. But Just for fun. Only people here. <laughs> never had this happen in my life. It's very interesting. I used to make a point of trying to find the movie theaters that were like the emptiest so that I could have the place to myself. This is very empty. Cinema 8 Theater in the Exchange District in Winnipeg. It was my secret spot. I would take people <laughs> on dates there and they'd be like, damn. And there's like no one here. And I'd be like, yeah, no one comes <laughs> to this movie theater. It's all ours. <laughs> this is so weird. I've never had this happen. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. All right. Quick five second video. Realized I hadn't filmed today. Um, I wanted to be able to film every day, um, at least for this summer. I don't know how long that's going to last, but... Wanted to film for every day, hanging out in South Lake Tahoe. Um, not much more to say than that. I'll do a full spiel, full rundown tomorrow once we get packed up. Um, I don't know how much panning I can do because I'm not currently wearing pants. And I don't think Magpie's currently wearing a short, uh, shirt, shorts, shirt. So, just chilling out, hanging out in the room, so. Mm. Yeah. All right, she's familiar, eh? Uh, morning, morning. Definitely not morning. Um, it is June 10th at like two o'clock. Um, we are officially Walmart aficionados. Walmart is our happy place from now on. We have gone there so many times. Well, it's because I still haven't gotten our stuff back from Aziz. We keep having to buy more camping stuff that we already own. Yeah. Holla yeah, I, mean, I don't have a stove. Haven't had, I bought the stove March 15th and I still don't have it. Yeah, how about me, Z? Um, I want my goddamn stove and my goddamn Birkenstocks. Please mail them to me. Or Shane, if you see this, how about us? Like, Anybody who lives in Escalant who has a key to their house, please mail me. No, they're, ju they're just probably on a fire somewhere. But got a Coleman stove, really cheap. Magpie had a 10 times fancier one, but we need to cook and camp. So got a really cheap one. Um, got some popcorn. If you see a 48 box of pop tarts, we got some trail magic. Finally getting into the trail magic portion of the um, road trip after we finished up our Tahoe Rim Trail hike. Got some donuts for trail magic. Well, we'll, t we'll think about that. 
some honey buns for Trail Magic, some Rice Krispies for Trail Magic. Magpie and I really both don't drink sodas, but we know hikers love sodas, and when we hike, we also love sodas. So, got some sodas, got some fruit, um, we got some extra food in the car, um, got some fuel, just got some odds and ends. Um, also got this, because Magpie has been having trouble sleeping, and I guess I, I've been having trouble sleeping too, so. Well, you always have trouble sleeping, and it's because you chug Red Bull at like 3 p.m., and you're like, it doesn't affect me. What Red Bull? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you did. Perfect timing. Um, so yeah, I got these. Might try them out. Never tried melatonin. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't make me groggy. Well, and I have no energy anyway. So, yeah. Um, we're in Walmart in Carson City. Um, today is, like I said, June 10th. We finished our hike June 7th? Yes. And then we spent the 8th and the 9th in South Lake Tahoe. Um, mostly just chilling, relaxing. I think I got some clips of the day that we went to the movie theater, became tourists. Um, that was the day of the 8th, and then the day of the 9th, mostly just relaxing, um, trying to get some energy back. Magpie and I are both, uh, don't have a whole lot of energy for some reason. Um, burnout's a real thing. I think there's a little bit of burnout action going on. Trail-wise, work-wise, I don't know, energy-wise, I don't have a whole lot of energy. So, regardless, we're in Carson City. Um, we're going to pack up all this trail magic stuff, and then start heading north towards Sierra City. Um, because I think with the PCTers we saw, we'll be able to catch a good amount of the front runners slash um, people that are past the Sierras. And NorCal didn't have a whole lot of trail magic when either one of us went through it. So hopefully we can provide a little bit, a couple sodas, a couple uh, fruit, a little bit of extra calories with some snacks. Nothing too special, but trying to get back in the way we can. Offer them a ride if they need a ride into town. So the trail magic portion is going to start. Super exciting. Um, Magpie uh, brought us to the Jiffy Lube because she's like, I want to go to the Jiffy Lube. The car was throwing a code. Yeah, car was throwing a code. So we had an AutoZone stop and then what, a Jiffy Lube stop and got the fuel filter done something. No, they couldn't do the fuel filter because it's a dealer only. So I got the fuel system cleaned mm -hmm. and we'll see what that does. And if it doesn't, uh, clear, like it cleared the code obviously because they reset it. But if it pops back up, then I'll have to go to a super dealer get the fuel filter replaced and if it's not that yep. then it's a vacuum weekend yep so we're gonna go find some spot to camp um hopefully a trailhead where hikers will walk by and post up there and then do a little bit of editing the off trail podcast interviewed really cool dude today named impala um, the episode won't come out for another week or two but really cool episode so yeah that's about the gist of it all right i'll give you a fuller update in a minute but we're kind of on a time ticking time clock with the ice so we're trying to load up the cooler with all types of drinks what we got rocking right now is um, okay fine sorry what we got rocking right now is aha caffeinated lacroix aha regular cokes and pepsi, Very pepsi so, and regular cokes. getting it ready for some trail magic tomorrow um yeah i'll, I'll catch it i'll catch you all up in a second but we're trying to get the cooler stuff situated so it doesn't get hot. I'm trying to make sure the ice doesn't melt as much. So one second. One second while we do some things. All right. A little less time sensitive. Now I can update you. We got the drinks in the cooler. Surprisingly, 16 pounds of ice doesn't go that far. You have a pretty large cooler. And you got a big cooler. So we got a bunch of stuff on top that's not really insulated. But the ice on the bottom is also melting. So maybe the ice will do something. Maybe not. Um, Warm liquid to cold ice is pretty off right now. Yeah, don't really have another option since all the stores are closed down around us. Um, so, update. We're at Plum Campground, a few miles outside of Sierra City. Um, so, when we woke up this morning in um, South Lake Tahoe, we were checking out and we didn't really have a game plan. That kind of is the theme of this road trip is... Um, yeah, we kind of got to start making a better plan. Well, we've just been moving nonstop. So, like, we might use this... Not this campground exactly, but we might use this as a place to plan again. Um, but yeah, we got to make better plans because we left South Lake Tahoe. I think I got a little film. We went to the Wally World, did some stuff, and we didn't really have a direction. We could have gone south to Tehachapi before the Sierras to Trail Magic folks there or north um, of Lake Tahoe to Trail Magic folks there. So we kind of just flipped a coin um, in our head and was like, okay, let's go north. So Sierra City was kind of the closest to us that hikers cross by and i remember norcal 
not having a whole lot of services and stuff. So it made more sense to go to NorCal to uh, Trail Magic and it might tie into picking our way up and having more areas to hike through, whatnot, because we don't really want to hike in the desert at this point. So yeah, we are in Sierra City. Today is June 10th. Um, we're planning on trail magic and t trail magicing tomorrow. Um, but first we got to get organized, what have you. So extra trail magic stuff. I like, I made a trail magic bucket. That's going to be fun. It's a Ruffles chips, all types of pop tarts, um, rice krispies, honey buns, just more cows in case they want them. We'll have brownies for people. We have cookies, we have fruit. Um, we have more fruit and then we have just more food. So I don't know, we're gonna try to figure it out. Try to figure out where we're gonna set up the trail magic. Could do it at the trailhead that's like two miles away, but it's not as good at a trailhead when there's a town right there because usually as a hiker, when you get to a trailhead and you can also get to the town, you've linked your miles up so you can get to the town. And trail magic is always welcome at a trailhead, but especially when you're doing a long hike, you just wanna to get to town and do the chores you need to do and you have a plan for town. So we'll try to find a more remote spot to do the trail magic. But yeah, we're gonna camp at Plum Campground. PCT actually is like right across this creek. Um, not right across, but if you hiked half a mile up there, it's like in there somewhere. Um, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, another interesting day of the road trip. Oh, there's a nice little conundrum. So we wanted to see it. So when we got here, we met the camp host as soon as we were getting in. We got the last camp spot, Camp 39, um, but had no cash. And USFS campgrounds, um, cash, only. cash only or check. So he's like, yeah, pop into Sierra City, um, get some cash. We're like, okay, sweet. So we had to drive back out of the campground, go to Sierra City, close down, everything Sierra closed City's down. only like a mile. Yeah. yeah. But like everything closed down. Um, missed the general store hours by like five minutes, um, if that. So then it was kind of a bummer because we didn't think there was any spot until 20 miles back up the hill we came, but it luckily we ran into the town called Bennett? Bennett's. Bennett's maybe. Bennett's maybe. Like five miles the opposite direction of Sierra City. They had a general store that we could use an ATM, get some ice, um, and then pop back here. So ended up working out, but couple puzzle pieces uh moved around that didn't expect um carry cash carry cash so yeah we're setting up camp organizing stuff nope 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 i mean couldn't have done anything with it anyway so yeah here we are camping and there's a belly right there <laughs> yes are we getting better at this car camping thing or what this stove was 40 bucks Super cheap at Walmart. Magpie has a really better one, but Paul Ratmezy, you still got it. And I know I'm giving you a lot of flack. I know you're probably out wildland firefighting. Um, I know it's already been a busy year, so just giving you a lot of a lot of flack, man. Um, I know it ain't your fault, but yeah, Magpie's been hounding me. Help me. She's gone to the bathroom. Help me. She has been real pissed. <laughs> Besides the point. Um. Look at this, we're getting better at it. Actually being able to cook up food. I know it's just a bland thing of pasta, but to me that's like, I don't know. That's a five star course right there. Not having to balance the pot on like a little um, pocket rocket. I can dig it. All right, let's, let's scrub down, shall we? Morning, morning. It is June 11th and we're still in the campground. It's like 9.50, we both needed sleep. Um, I don't know how much I've talked about that, but we've both just been brutally tired. Um, it's been an aggressive itinerary we've been doing. Um, pretty much the first leg of our road trip until the Tahoe Rim Trail was just movement every day besides those few days we spent in Salt Lake City working. Um, it's just been nonstop. So I don't know what it is. Um, both of us have just been really, really tired. So both needed sleep, slept in a little bit. I ended up waking up like at seven, which big sleep in for me. Um, Magpie's just stirring now. Why I started this film is this. So way back when, if you watched the video, we got a mosquito shelter at um, Walmart, of course. It's very cheap, I think it was like 70 bucks. Um, cheap for that big of a mosquito shelter at least. Um, and yeah, it just actually came in handy. When we were cooking dinner last night, we set it up. It actually goes up pretty easily. Um, again, it's a Walmart brand, so it might not be the best, but 
it gives us what we need. Um, it actually came yeah, pretty clutch, like I said. Kept the mosquitoes out while we ate dinner and relaxed. I'm actually excited about this piece of gear. I've never used one. Um, again, we usually use, look at the size comparison. We usually use something like that, just a small little tent. Funny enough, that is way more expensive than that. <laughs> because that's a UL tent and this is big bulky uh, car camping. But yeah, we're gonna pack up. Not really a time frame in our mind. Um, we're gonna pack up, get out of here when we need to get out of here and then go find some trail um to do trail magic at um hopefully we can find like a dirt road that brings us back into the trail instead of the trailhead near sierra city because it's always better like i was saying to get trail magic in the middle of nowhere instead of right before a town when as a hiker you have this kind of itinerary of being in the town doing your chores relaxing eating whatnot so yeah we'll pack up when we pack up but this is really cool i actually am uh, pretty stoked about this it really came in handy last night I've been just hanging out in it this morning. Um, really enjoy this. That's really cool. So, yeah. We'll get moving here shortly. I'll bring you along for the ride once we figure out where we're gonna do trail magic. Should be a good day. Sweet, we gave our first PCT or a hitch. Um, double peg or double tap. Double pack. Double pack, um, German dude. Um, he was walking out of the campground we were staying in, so got to get him into Sierra City. Now we're heading back up to Bartlett to get more ice. Um, and then I think we're going to start trail magic, and there's a spot like 10 miles south of Sierra City. Um, it looks like there's camping there, as well as um, the there's a road that goes into there so we can park and set up. So I think we're going to go 10 miles south. Um, we asked him, and he said he's like in the middle of the front runner pack, so... We have options, we can go north, we can go south, um, maybe just start going south, at least 10 miles for today, see what that's about. All right, so we are setting up trail magic. Um, we're at Jackson something reservoir. The PCT comes out right here, uh, mile like 1183, past creeks right behind me. I thought I just saw a PCT here, but I don't know where they would have come from because this is the trail right schmear so yeah look at this hopefully we get some pct here today we're a little late in the day it's like one o'clock but you can do what you can do so trails right here um and we are the trail continues this road across we're gonna set up right there um so yeah hopefully we get some pct here's um about 10 miles south of Sierra City, so maybe get some people that want a soda, something like that. Who knows? We're gonna give it a go. Uh, first little kick at trail magic on this road trip, um, so that's gonna be cool. Well, we're set up. Now we just need a PCT to roll by. Um, we got the full spread going on. We got cookies, pastries, pastries, goldfish, Sunscreen, mosquito stuff, more fruit over here, watermelon. Um, did I say goldfish? I think I said goldfish. We got a little bucket of goodies, um, pop tarts, honey buns, um, rice krispies, and then um, I'm selfish. This might be for me. If somebody wants a little bit of hit off a of ice cold, not ice cold, but ice coffee, you're more than welcome. So, also computer, gonna be working on editing some podcast episodes while we just wait for PC Tears to show up. I think we picked an okay location. So two miles south of us is when PC Tours first run into this like campground circle around this lake. So they might be taking lunch there. I don't know. I think we picked a good location, like right on trail. It's hard to get better than this. So I hope we did. Um, we're about 10 miles, like I said, from the town of Sierra City s South. So for any PC Tours that are trying to have like a nice near onto town tomorrow, they should pass by here in theory. It's like one or two o'clock. Don't know. I hope we see some people. We got the setup for it. If not, Magpie's gonna have to eat a lot of food. All right, what a fantastic day. Um, so I think the last clip I got was before the first hiker rolled in. Um, so we were set up at like one. I think the first hiker started rolling in like 1.30. And then we were there until like eight, 8.30, um, about seven hours. Had about 15 
20 PC tiers, maybe 15, um, somewhere in there. Had Star-Lord and Optimus hang out with us and pack up with us, which was awesome. And so many other hiker names. Um, we need to get a, a little notebook for a journal. Yeah, we just need to get a notebook that hikers can sign. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, super awesome. Um, the hikers ate through all our pasta, all our chili. Um, all the snacks that we were trying to get rid of. So. All, yeah, all the snacks we were trying to get rid of, all the fruit. Half the um, watermelon, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, they... More than half the watermelon, actually. They requested beer, so we're going to get more beer for hikers. Um, I honestly didn't think beer was going to be a big selling point for hikers, but... I really thought that the front runners probably wouldn't want beer, because I don't generally want beer at Trail Magic, and I'm a front runner usually, but yeah, they yeah. wanted beer. Yeah, me neither. So that's the main thing that we need to get. Um, we need to get more plates. Like, we had a full hiker setup. Um, yeah, we they... need more cutlery. Yeah. We need more chairs. Yeah, we need more chairs. Um, it was just awesome. Um, at one point, we had, like, more than 10 hikers all chilling around the table together. Didn't get any film of it because it didn't really feel the right time to film. I might try to start getting more film of hikers because those are the moments I really want to remember. Someone took a photo with all of us, but I forget his trail name. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was just super cool. Um, about 15 PC tiers, fed them, gave them drinks, gave them a spot to hang out. It was super fun. Um, shout out Star-Lord and Optimus. Um, those are the guys that, like, I think I connected with the most um, super cool folk, um, super cool dudes. So I did some pack fitting for folks. Yeah, Magpie did some pack fitting for folks. So we learned a little more. So we're up Yuma Pass Road where we came down, um, just found camp. We learned when we were doing trail magic, one, find camp, camp beforehand. That's a go-to, Magpie knew that. Um, and we learned- yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. We so, should have found camp beforehand. I honestly didn't think we were going to be there that long. Um, I did not think hikers were going to hold us until, like, the very setting sun. So, I mean, yeah. we did a good job. Like, you picked a good place for it because we wanted to, like, find a spot where people were going into town but weren't in a rush to get to town. And we did a good job doing that. That's really bright. Yeah. They wouldn't have been able to hear you if I didn't do that. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Really, really fun. Um, first day of trail magic complete success we went through so much food um so awesome so awesome to give back and be part of the trail community this way when we're not through hiking so a plus i love it so we're learning um we're learning to get more beer for hikers um because just because we don't drink beer when we're hiking doesn't mean others don't we learn to get more pasta more food just have reserves on hand learn to not do pasta we should do hot dogs and steaks you don't need utensils for that yeah all in all, A+. Plus. All right, I'm going to crawl in the tent. Great day. All right, morning, morning. Super happy we're not hiking in this. Um, a lot of the PC tiers yesterday were telling us that there was supposed to be rain, which we were pretty ignorant about. It didn't feel like it was going to rain the next day. Did not, and it is pouring. It's like 7, what, 50. Um, slept in. Like I said, we did trail magic and then picked our way up this road 12 up to Yuma Pass. Um, just, just to find a place to pull off and camp it's for a service land yeah just found a spot to pull off and camp got poured on this morning in the tent so a lot of our stuff's wet car's not really organized well um just kind of shoved stuff in from yesterday well and also after the crt we just sort of shoved stuff in we've yeah. taken a lot of stuff out of the top rack because uh we didn't have a lock for it we didn't want it sitting there all week so there's a whole bunch of stuff that ought to be up top that is in the car right now yeah so i'm gonna try to hopefully find a dumpster on the way back to the main road so today's plan is to resupply for trail magic um hikers went through a lot of stuff yesterday so i knew i knew we needed more stuff but like with the how much stuff we have in the car for our road trip it's hard to like balance the just like boxes and boxes of food and drinks against like all the gear that we have so um yeah they, we gotta organize the car a bit and then we are gonna go to costco yeah so we're gonna go to costco um get some bulk deals um we're going back to reno we were in reno two days ago um when we left south lake tahoe but right now reno is the closest thing that has like big box stores that we can do because we're gonna be traveling up to norcal um, north of sierra city and a lot of the areas around there not giant towns you could get to other bigger towns that have like box stores like it's Walmart. like three or four hours drive one direction to get to a larger city 
Yeah, so we'll stock up in Reno, um, and then I think we're going to try to probably find a Trail Magic spot near Quincy or around that area. Um, we might stay in Reno today. Who knows? If it's supposed to rain all day, people aren't going to want Trail Magic in the rain. Um, I mean, you actually probably do want Trail Magic in the rain, but... We don't know. have, like, a big enough waterproof tent, though. Yeah, we don't have a waterproof Our sunshade on it. is not waterproof. No, it'd just be, we would be all sitting around soaking wet together. <laughs> so, yeah, the plan today is, don't know. Um, we have a base plan for at least the first few hours, and then the weather's going to dictate what the rest is that we do. So, we're going back to Reno. Wow, it really comes up on the film, too. I'm going to stick the camera in your face. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I couldn't see it with my polarized sunglasses on. Massive rainbow over Truckee. Um, we went into Truckee, got some breakfast. I got double charged on the breakfast, but just gave it to the restaurant as a tip. They were really, really busy. Yeah. Um, pretty much just gave it. It was a $10 extra charge, so I was going to tip them $10 anyway, so just gave them that as a tip, I guess. I guess it doesn't go directly to the waitress, but it goes to the restaurant. Um, so tipped them a few extra bucks. Um, but now we're going to Reno. Might get a spot to stay. As it rains, I'm um, gonna get a Costco membership, figure out Costco. We still gotta publish two off trail episodes. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what Reno has to offer. Um, Magpie wants to go gambling again for some reason. No, I don't. I don't gamble. Okay. I've played, I paid the pun, played the penny slots for like five minutes, put in five dollars, went up three dollars, and then lost the three dollars and took my money back out again, and I didn't lose anything. Yeah, she did. That's so my approach to gambling. Yeah, so probably not gambling we you know um, probably just do chores um, I don't know we're gonna get there and see what's up that was cool very prevalent rainbow above Truckee all right we be back Nevada once again we're gonna have to get our produce checked and that's not a euphemism I think going... you actually check your car for produce when you're going from Nevada to California yes it is not a euphemism it's an actual what they do so, we're gonna get our produce checked once we get back to Cali. That's a good euphemism, though, for other things. All right, so Trail Magic Part Two. We have a Costco membership. We spent too much time in there. We bought their Groupon membership, so we get like $40 cash back, and um, it was like $60 for the membership. But let's bring you through what we got. Trail Magic Round Two, so. Oh, I don't even know where to start. We got chips for people, we got muffins, we got Belvitas, we got Chewy Bars, we got coffees, we got Nature's Bakery, we got hot dog buns, we got Parmesan, we got a lot of hot dogs, like almost too many hot dogs. Um, we got drinks, we actually got beer for them this time. Never tried a Kirkland beer. Um, gonna hook them up with some beer, um, some LaCroix, some Pepsi, uh, some Rice Krispies, some Milano's. There's just so much. <laughs> so yes, Costco run. Success, Trail Magic Part 2, gonna start. Um, not today, but tomorrow, so we definitely should be stocked. All right, update time. So, just finished um, editing a podcast with Backcountry Foodie. Really fun conversation, really enjoyed that. We are in Reno, Nevada. I think I filmed a little bit of our Costco run, that hecticness. It's kind of been a hectic day, so like Costco, let me give you a little backstory here. Costco, um, we got a membership through Groupon. So like the membership at Costco is like a year long for 60 bucks. And technically with a Groupon membership, they also email you two $40 off discount codes. So like, Technically, you're making $20. Not really. You're still spending money at Costco. There's stipulations there, but it's still two separate $40 off coupons, one in-store and one online. So signed up on Groupon. So when we went to Costco, they initially didn't want to let us in, talk to the manager. They let us go shop. And Groupon said they were going to email me my confirmation in two hours. We were in Costco for like two hours um, and no confirmation code. So I was a little worried how we were going to check out. Went back and talked to the manager and then they helped us out and they're like, just come in next time, show them this receipt. So they got it all situated, but did some Costco shopping, 
came over here, tried to check into the hotel at like noon, 12.30. And I've learned, we've learned at this point that, um, should know by prior experience, not even this one, that staying in downtown spots, a lot of the time they're gonna uphold that policy like to the T of like checking at three o'clock because again, this is a cheap motel near casino. So like the type of, majority of type of clientele is people that are coming to gamble and they may be doing a little bit of the drinky drinky. Um, I don't know, I'm generalizing, but it's kind of true across the board. A lot of downtown motels really, really strictly hold their policy for check-in because it's a downtown motel. They're gonna fill up anyway. They're not hurting for clients. Um, and like also the wear and tear on downtown hotels is way worse. I'm not gonna get into the spiel about the hotel, but we couldn't check in at 12.30. So we went to a coffee shop, went to a bookstore, ended up getting way too many books. I'm gonna ever walk you through these. So that one is about a Roman king fighting a barbarian. I think it's actually somewhat historical. I may be mistaken, it might be purely fantasy. Who knows, I read the inside cover. So when we found this bookstore on the way to the coffee shop, they had a big sign out front that said, go fill a paper bag up and it's $5 for as many books you can put in the paper bag. So it was like a big yard sale out back. So it wasn't spending a whole lot of money on books. Like we found pretty much this um, for like five bucks. Some of the books when we walked into the bookstore were a little more expensive like that. But um, pretty much all of these were in the book bag. So all of that was $5 and that was more than all of those. But I'm, get, I'm digressing. So really cool book sale. Got that one, got this one. I've heard about this, Wilderness in the American Mind. It's supposed to be a really cool book. Um, yes, I'm a little nerdy. I read this series back in like middle school or high school, um, I think. And I think the last book came out and I completely forgot about it, but then I saw it in the store. I'm like, yeah, it would be cool to relive some memories. Great TED Talks journal. I love journals and I always use them, right, Magpie? Yeah, you never use your journals, but you do love buying them. I do love I do love journal prompts. Like I love the questions and prompts it gives you. Like um, <laughs> that was a ironic one to film too. It's just cool. It gives you like different thought processes. Um, Magpie got Mother Tongue by Bill Bryson. Sounds pretty cool. I got The Killing Hour, which is like just some type of random mystery novel. Um, Magpie got Maiden in Captivity, um, a naughty naughty book because we so naughty. Um, Anthropology 101. Magpie got that for her friend. Follow Me to Ground, don't even know what that is. Um, it's a novel. Magpie said it's a novel. Magpie got that because she's been reading The Wheel of Time while we've been on trail. I got this, again, it was like a few quarters, so I just thought I would get something fun. Endurance Magpie got, I've read that book, really good book. I got that one, again, a mystery novel. Magpie got that one, don't really know what that is. Which one? Uh, Great North Road. Then, oh, it just seemed interesting. Yeah, the Magpie got In Cold Blood, um, which is supposed to be a really good book. Then also just kind of a mystery novel. So like some mindless reading, some interesting reading. Um, again, it was like a book barn sale. So we just filled up with what we wanted to get. So yeah, we went to Starbucks. And I'm about 300 pages into a novel that I bought here too. Yeah, you are. First novel of the Culture series. Yeah, you are. It's real gross so far and super violent, but it's an interesting book. That's fun. Yes. So yeah, we went to the Starbucks um, and sat in the Starbucks and drank coffee for two hours and read a bit, little bit of our books. Came back to the hotel. I'm sorry, this is going to be long. Came back to the hotel, tried to check in again at like 2.50. And the guy's like, nope, you can't do it. And we're like, all right, um, check-in's at three. So he's like, I'm like, is there a time frame? He said, about 30 minutes. So we sat in the parking lot for 30 minutes, read our books again, and then tried to check in again. And... Again, could be having a rough day. It's Sunday, so it's on the tail end of a weekend. It's a super cheap motel in downtown Reno, which, eh, not the best. He was not super friendly. Huh? <laughs> he was not, when I tried to check in the third time at 3.30, um, it was, yeah, he gave people rooms in front of me and then like, I don't know, maybe I was pestering him. But technically you're allowed to check in after three o'clock. Um, and he gave us, not a bad room, but cheap motel in downtown Reno. That's all you need to know. So we got here. I've been spending time editing a podcast, and after this, maybe organize the car a little bit. And yeah, oh, I wanted to show this too. This is gonna be a long one, I'm sorry. Um, I saw this at Costco and it was 20 bucks. So it's an all-in-one, that's how I open the packages, all-in-one charger. It was only $20, it's 10,000 milliamps, 
um, and it has the cords attached into it. So you just plug it straight into the wall. You don't have to bring a brick. And then it has the iPhone cord right here, which is nice. And then it has a backup cord. So I don't know how quickly it charges, but it's pretty lightweight. It's built into itself, which is awesome. You don't have to worry about cords and all the such. So like, this is pretty cool. I thought this was pretty cool. It's called My Charge. Um, I don't know if it's a Costco brand or what. So yeah, that's kind of the story of today. Um, we restocked, we're ready to go Trail Magic tomorrow. Did a, had to stop here, do a little bit of work. Um, yeah, it's not super interesting, so I don't know why I keep talking. I don't know, it's kind of documenting my day. Like some people write, some people talk to a camera and do weird things while they talk to a camera and ramble a little bit. I don't know, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, yeah, today's June 12th, 12th, yes. All right, gonna get more back into it. Cool, cool. There's a lay of land. Back to trail magic tomorrow. All right, morning, morning. You guessed it. Where are we? What's that big blue and yellow sign? Um, love to hate on Walmart. Don't agree with the corporation, even though they're actually starting to try to give back, but it's... Oh, come on, that's just PR. Yeah, that's PR. <laughs> but it's cheap enough that we can do what we need to do for other hikers. So Walmart's become our... Well, and it's reliable. We don't have to drive around looking for like the specific discount store in every city that we visit. Yeah, so we're coming back to Walmart. It's June 13th. We're gonna get a little few more baked goods for some hikers. Um, you saw all the trail magic yesterday. And um, yeah, it was a big hole, but we're gonna fluff it up a little bit and then make our way a little south of Quincy. Um, about 10 miles south, there's a peak we can drive up to, Humboldt Peak area. Um, and we can camp and just set up there. So that's the plan. Hopefully, so we're gonna get some goodies and then get out of Reno. I'll tell you about our experience in Reno um, tomorrow. I mean, later after we shop. Well, I didn't get, it wasn't quick enough. That was Chester, California. All right, it's 3.30 and we made it. So that's Mount Shasta. Um, we are on top of Humboldt Summit, mile 1311, Nobo, the PCT. That's the PCT right there with that little sign. And then it That's comes... The PCT. It comes right through where we're parked. comes right through where we're parked. There's a tent over there with like a table. I think that person's out hiking now. Yeah, it looks like... There be anyone there. It looks like a water cache maybe because this is a notoriously dry stretch unless you hike off trail. It also looks like it could just be someone out camping. It could be. So I think we're going to set up here. Um, this was our goal. So we went through Chester, got some more ice, and then we also couldn't figure out how to get up here because Humboldt Road connects it. But Google is bringing us all types away again, which... Google wants to save us two minutes by taking us down a closed four-wheel drive logging road, which we weren't going to do. Yeah, so Trail Magic Part 2. We did our first Trail Magic right outside of Sierra City. And this time... a new cooler for Just Drinks. So just Drink Cooler. doesn't melt from all the constant Yeah, so we're stoked. Um, we're going to start setting up and I'll show you the finished product. We're going to organize the goddamn car, finally. Yeah. We got so much stuff from Walmart and like... And we just shoved. Yeah, oh my god. All right, time to get started. All right, stage one. Get everything out of the car. Um, it's gonna be a big part. Drying out our tent from, not last night, but the night before when we trail magicked um, near Jackson Reservoir because it got soaked. Um, as you saw, I think I filmed that. And as you can see, we got a lot to deal with. Um, yeah, nothing got put away properly. Well, we just keep... We just keep buying more and more trail magic. So we got sausages, we got carrots, we got mustard, we got onions, we got muffins, chips, donuts, candies, hot dog buns up the wazoo. We got some beers chilling, we got some Pepsi. Yeah, it's a mess. But we're gonna make it work, so we're slowly getting there. And there's just all this random stuff that didn't get put away in its proper bag and now it's just floating loose that we now have to handle reorganize, deal with, figure out. We're doing it right now. And then there's a cooler chilling in our shade patch that we're gonna set up our big fluffy tent on. Yes, please. Let's get All it. All right, um, we're about quarter of the way through. Um, not fully set up yet, but I'll show you what we got rocking. So set up the big tent and got the chairs out. Got to still get other chairs on the backside. Right now I'm trying to figure out how to make this table work because we got way too much stuff to fit on here. But for now I'm just putting baked goods heavy. We got the donuts. We got the cookies and pong cookies. We got the Milano's. We got the muffins. 
we got the other muffins. Um, we're gonna be doing good. So next, let me see if I can pop that closed. Pop that closed. Next, we got the coolers. Um, so again, neither Magpie or I drink a whole lot of beer at Trail Magic, but from the Trail Magic we did in Sierra City, the resounding answer was, please bring beer. So we have beer. Um, hopefully 36 is enough. <laughs> I hope it is. So we got PBR for just people that wanted light beer, I guess. I guess that's lightish. We got an IPA for people that wanted a little something heavier. We got um, Pepsi. So we got some Pepsi and then we got a lot of LaCroix in the bottom and Ahas. And then over here, what we got working is we got some beers, some PBRs, and then underneath all of this is a lot of the Croix again. So we got something for every taste. If you want soda, we got soda. If you want beer, we got beer. If you want just like a sparkling water, we got that. So now we're also getting deeper into the car. I'm gonna take the bear canister so I can sit on it. Oh man, just more stuff keeps happening. So yes, we got stuff going. We're getting closer. Not all the way there yet, but we're getting closer. All right, stage two of the prep. We're getting closer. It may not look like it, but we are. So back to the table. I'm really happy about this. So I just started dumping stuff in here. So we got big boxes, like a 60 count of Belvitas, a 40 count of Fig Bars. Um, we got 48 Pop Tarts, um, 60 Chewy Bars from Costco. Um, what else have we got here? We got birthday cake, Rice Krispies cookies and cream it's like a smorgasbord if people want to just go through here they're more than welcome so we're going to put that there then we got grandma's cookies kind of different variety milano's you already saw these baked goods big old bag of chips a little bit of fruit um i got the chairs situated and the hot dog buns are ready to rock i think we got like 60 hot dog buns somewhere in there um we got 60 hot dogs so that's pretty good yeah we're moving we're, we're getting it set up. Um, the coolers are just jam-packed. Um, we need to get maybe another cooler or figure out how to do this a little better because we have stuff that can't really... <laughs> people are going to have to dig to get to the drinks. Like we have carrots, um, maple sausages, snap peas. I'm trying to cool off the watermelon a little bit. So they're going to have to dig to get to the drinks, but they'll get to them. So that's that. And... Back of the car is looking maybe a little bit better. Probably not, but we're getting there. We are getting there. All right, step three, we learned that this tent has guy lines. I uh, always knew that it had guy lines. Oh, uh, well, it was starting to bow while I was setting up in there. That's a line. And then that's a line. So uh, yeah, now it shouldn't uh, go as many places. Sweet. We're getting there. Don't run into a guy line as soon as you set it up. All right. Step three, part three, part three dash 1,224, somewhere in there. All right, so it's five o'clock. No trail magic, uh, no hikers yet. Put up the janky ass sign for trail magic um, with a big arrow. So our car is that one, but you can see there's also a big party, like five people, five cars pulled up after we set up like an hour afterwards. So I don't know if it's just a group or other trail magickers, who knows, but we got our sign set up. Um, don't know. <laughs> be kind of a coincidence. So it's a Monday night, it's June 13th. And um, be quite a coincidence for two people to choose Humboldt Peak to do uh, trail magic. I don't know. Wasn't a popular spot when we came through, Magpie or I, um, back on our hikes, but maybe now it is. These people might be doing trail magic. Who knows? Can't really see anything. All right, morning, morning. Um, don't know when the video left off, but I think it left off while we were setting up. So today is June 14th. We had another successful uh, trail magic sesh uh, last night. So our first hiker showed up, I think around five. Um, her name was Lakes, not Legs, Lakes. Second hiker showed up um, five minutes after her, Mountain Goat. Then um, Diesel showed up. And then, uh-oh. French guy. 
There was a French guy that showed up. And there was one more hiker, wasn't there? Uh, no, there was four of them. There was four hikers. Okay, I miscounted. Um, so we only had four hikers show up last night, but it was still pretty awesome. Um, they hung out and we made our own little tent city. Someone camped right behind us. Two folks camped like right there. Then um, another dude camped right there. So yeah, it was pretty awesome. We cooked up, I don't know, 30 hot dogs. No. We went through two packs. Pack if we went through two packs, it would have been 30. We cooked 18 hot dogs. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I think it was closer to 30. Um, everybody was double dogging it, which was nice. So, made a nice little trash bag. Um, people like the cookies. People like the grab bag. The scrap bag actually got some damage put into it, it looks like. Um, so, people probably grabbed some treats this morning. So, we told them when they woke up, if we weren't awake, we heard them rustling at like 5.30. We're like, we packed up everything in smell-proof containers and we're like, we'll just leave it in the big tent for y'all in the morning. So people probably grabbed a little bit of water, a little bit of snacks. Then they got like 10 miles to uh, Chester today. So yeah, we had four hikers, but honestly, that was really nice. Um, it wasn't the 15 or somewhat 20 hikers that we had the other day, but four hikers, they just hung out with us all day. We honestly thought... Um, that most hikers would just grab a soda and go, but it seems like we're timing it perfectly that people are just like, yeah, we haven't had trail magic in so long. And the um, kind of trail magic we're doing with the big tents and the chairs and everything, yeah. I think also invites people to stay. Yeah, we've had many compliments. They said it's the best trail magic on trail yet, even trail even compared to the desert trail magic. So that's a good compliment. That makes, makes us feel good. Um, when you're a hiker, you know what other hikers want. So we're gonna get reset up here, um, put everything back out in case we got some early morningers. It's like eight o'clock, so not early morningers, but I bet we won't see people until the afternoon again because of the closeness to town. They try to get closer to town and then Nero in the following day. So probably won't see them till afternoon. Might have a trickle or two, but who knows? Um, I gotta get better at filming the trail magic itself because that's really fun, but it feels awkward to try to film something that's just so authentic if that makes sense or natural like i don't know we're meeting the hikers for the first time and it would feel weird being like smile for the camera so i don't know i haven't filmed any of our trail magic sessions yet just but oh look at that Some, somebody wrote in the dirt thank you oh that was really nice yeah we didn't wake up we didn't wake up with them at 5 30 because we didn't need to yeah so we got all our stuff cooling it got cold enough last night that i think the drinks will actually be cold um today that weren't even in the cooler yeah yeah they're pretty cold oh it's in the tent all right so yeah that's the gist of it we're gonna trail magic at this location again today today's the 14th of june um and then Depending on the hikers, we might run out of supplies and then go re-up and then keep going northbound. See some cool stuff, so pretty pretty fun. Sandwich. Oh, oh that's why. Fewer yeah, people, eh? Big group of campers here yesterday. Yeah, there's eight cars. That's cool though. It doesn't care care about who's here. All right, so trail magic's been going strong. It's about six o'clock and we just had a crew of hikers leave. Again, I feel weird filming them, but um, we started a trail log today. I wrote down a few names that I remembered from the first trail magic session. I didn't remember the other names, sadly. These were the folks we met last night. Uh, Lakes, Diesel, Mountain Goat, and someone else. Um, Again, sorry if I don't remember your name in here. Doubt you'll find this video anyway, so I don't know who I'm apologizing to. But um, then we had the hikers that we've had today sign in, which is pretty cool. Um, somebody named TikTok was here? Yeah, yesterday. Or our first Trail Magic Day. Who wrote TikTok? Me. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we cooked up a lot of dogs. Used the veggie dogs, so Magpie was right. Um, we had some vegetarians in our squad. They've been working through the beers. Um, the beer still is the biggest hit. It seems like people like beer. 
beer and soda. Seltzers really aren't going as much as I thought they would. Um, this, people have been going hard on the Nature Valleys. So we're out of donuts. Thank the Lord we're out of donuts. I don't have to eat them anymore. Mm -hmm. I the, just finished the last slice of watermelon because it was starting to get nasty. Nice. The Czech couple went hard on the carrots. Um, we had a carrot crew. Cookies have been staying pretty evenly keeled. Chips. Um, again, people have been picking their way at it. Most people just want the hot food, the dogs and whatnot. So. And the drinks. People go through the drinks pretty good. Yeah, people have been hitting the sodas pretty strong. So, yeah, it's like 6.30. We've had hikers pretty consistently since 11 o'clock. The Czech crew chilled with us for like four hours. Um, then the crew from Cali that was just here. They were here for two hours. They are here for two hours. And then sandwich and soup. Magpie named somebody soup today, which was really good. Yeah, it was a hiker with his dog. His dog's name is Sandwich. Hiker didn't have a trail name yet. And we was going to sign the trail log. He's like, oh, I don't have a trail name yet. I was like, oh, your trail name should be soup. So yeah. your soup and sandwich. The cutest dog. Um, really good dog. And then there was the first hiker that we had that didn't really talk a lot, but... Hikers come in all shapes and sizes. He kind of just sat for like 30 minutes and then bounced on. Um, I've been that person. I've been that person on Trail Magic too, just like going after miles. So yeah, we've had hikers since 11 o'clock, six o'clock now, a little after. Um, so we're going to take maybe a well-deserved quick break. I guess it's not well-deserved. I've just been eating with hikers today. <laughs> yeah, um, might read a little bit of a book. I tried to edit a podcast today. So, like, we hadn't had hikers in the morning from, like, 7 a.m. until um, 11. 11. So, like, for the first two, few hours, we organized the car better. As you can see, the top rack's way better. Um, actually got stuff in it this time. So, we organized that. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to start editing a podcast after we had our morning coffee. Did that. As soon as I sat down, I edited 40 seconds of a podcast <laughs> and a hiker showed up. So, that's how it works. Um, but now I'm going to sit down. Enjoy, Mag uh, enjoy joining Magpie in the sunshine and maybe read a little bit. Yep. Cool, cool. All right, it's about 8 o'clock. Um, time to pack up. Part two of the trail magic is finito. Nobody else has shown up. And we're about 20 miles from town, so we might have a straggler that night hikes by. Um, and if we do, we'll just give him a soda or something. But we're going to take down the tent so we can uh, leave in the morning. Uh, maybe do a little more resupplying. Um, they ate a good amount of food. Not a everything but a good enough amount that might do a, another little resupply i don't think we need to get more like snacky stuff but probably should do some more dinner dinner lunch type stuff so yeah do another little resupply and then um do a little bit of work in town don't know what town that's gonna be yet and then start heading farther north we may do the lost coast trail 30 to 30 miles just keep us in shape uh supposed to be a really cool hike too and um, maybe go up towards Shasta. I don't know, that's part of the fun. Um, we get to kind of figure it out as we go. It is nice to set up on a spot for a full night and then the next day, so probably try to do that again, do like a two day or spot at least. So yeah, we're gonna look at the maps and figure it out. Time to pack up. Part two of Trail Magic, finito. We have now had over 30 hikers at least yeah. um, with part one and two combined, so good stuff. All right, Trail Magic Park Dose done with a pretty fantastic sun sunset. Um, cars I packed up. In the last clip, but it was done. Yeah, but now it's done, done. As you can see, there's no patches of any remnants besides our own tent. Cars packed up, pretty nice. We also figured out where we're gonna go tomorrow. Um, don't know exactly when we'll get there, but we have plenty of food left over, so I think we're gonna make a quick pit stop in Bernie to pick up some more uh baked goods because those went the quickest and that's all we need to get so we'll be camping at like mile 1401 and to get into bernie's like 1412 so from here it's like 90 miles up trail um so we won't hit the same people we hit yesterday or today um we'll end up hitting a new bubble of hikers hopefully and then there we'll should just... be a group that's like well ahead of this group. There's a little gap because of the storm. Yeah, and then we'll hit Shasta next and then maybe Lost Coast Trail. Um, we'll Lost figure... Coast Trail is farther away than we thought. Yeah, we'll figure it out once we get there. But um, need to have at least a little bit of service. And it looks like where we're going to camp should have service. So that's the plan. And if not, we're not far from Bernie. Yeah, that is the plan. All right. No remnants of trail magic left. Besides the happy, happy smiles and happy guts of hikers. Even though my guts aren't hikers. Even though my guts aren't 
happy, not hikers. I guess my guts are technically a hikers because I'm a hiker. But I'm not a hiker, I'm a sitter now. I'm also a rambler now. All we've got left is, yeah, footprints and then this thank you that people wrote in the dirt. And a deer somewhere around here. Oh yeah, that deer is real tame. All right, good night. All right, morning, morning, June 15th? Yep. 14th. 15th. 14th. It's the 15th. 14th. My watch says it's the 15th. Is it today Tuesday? It's Wednesday. Okay, it is the 15th. Um, yes, so we left the spot. We're going up towards Barnaby Barnes. Um, Bernie. Bernie. Um, so we're going to go into Bernie, figure out a game plan, and then maybe set up Trail Magic Ground there. So we set up, broke down our spot, as you saw. Um, yeah, now we're part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, part seven. Don't know what part of the road trip, but we're going that way. Um, to Bernie we go. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Damn it, we were listening to Mickey Man Rhapsody. No, Lassen, I think. Yeah, that's Lassen. I uh, can't see it as well as I thought. Shasta, on those trees. So we found our third place. Third place? Yeah, third, third place to do trail magic. Oh, that's a bull. Yeah, you got some big old clankers. We got our first trail magic customer coming by. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Um, we're at Water Cash 22, which is actually like a full cast ran by somebody. Um, trail log right there, which is pretty cool. Don't pet the bull, baby. Um, so yeah, there was already this table here in the shade, so that's perfect. So we're just gonna set up right here, do a little trail magic. We brought our own water. Um, as you saw, this is a cache managed separately by somebody else, probably the rancher around here. But we brought our own water, just uh, so if PC tiers, yeah, if PC tiers come here, they can fill up on that and leave this for, in case it starts getting close to empty, what have you. It's quite cold. Yeah, so. Yeah, third trail magic spot. It's about two o'clock. Took us longer than we anticipated. We went to Bernie, um, did some chores. We almost ran out of gas on the way here, so we had to do like a big loop to go back to Chester before we hit Bernie. Whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of drama. So now we're here, um, and we're just setting up. That's nice that they already have a table there. Just gonna use that, take over that table. Hopefully, get some uh, more hikers in, give some more trail magic to them. So today is June fifteenth. The bull's gonna help us with trail magic. He does not care at all. All right, so we're having a crew of five, four right now. We've had five or six hikers today. Um, we got, hmm, don't know their names actually. They signed the trail log though. Um, we got one person setting up camp back there. There's the tent. Um, we got two hanging out over here. So we got the UN crew. Um, we got a guy from Germany. We have a guy from Australia. And then we have a guy from the Netherlands, which is pretty cool. So we got through all of our hot dogs, all of our all of our mini sausages. Um, so we've been able to get through some good stuff. So yeah, been pretty nice. We showed up here, I think at 2.30. No, we showed up earlier. Two-ish. First hiker came by in the first 30 minutes. He hung out. Um, that was a guy from Vancouver. Kept bouncing. And then, oh, that was Jackass from uh, Lakes. Funny enough, the person we trailed Magic two days ago, her and him had started together, and she's going to be catching up to him shortly. So, trail Magic Tim, he kept bouncing. Um, then another guy rolled in. He's still here, setting up camp down the way. Um, and then, yeah, just been hanging out with a few hikers for a little bit. So, trail Magic part three part four somewhere in there it's getting good we're learning how to do this thing which was really nice there was already a table here at this uh water cache so this is water cache 22 um i think i already pointed that out so yeah good stuff good good stuff it's like eight o'clock now we got cows as friends we got some good hikers hanging around um so we might start packing up some of this to put it in the car and then everybody's coming back in and we're just gonna hang around the table and shoot the shoot the shizzy the schnizzy. 
again, I'm sorry. I don't feel right filming other hikers that I don't really hike with necessarily. So a lot of the time it's me telling you that. Um, I don't know. Um, I wish I felt comfortable doing that. It just feels strange to me. It feels like it ruins the authenticity of the moment and the interaction. So you're going to probably have to put up with my ugly mug. I'll try to every so often maybe get like a quick snippet if I feel comfortable enough. But the most time when hikers are here, we're just kicking it. So the camera would make a weird flavor on it. So, okay, good stuff.